my name is Meghna Pari and today we are here to start a lecture series of mathematics 2 chapter is vector calculus and lecture number 5 is line integral in space first of all line integral in space let us suppose the three dimensional curve c is given by the parametrization x equal to x of t y equal to y of t z equal to z of t where value of t is between a to b okay my vector equation r bar t x t i carry it by t j carry it z t k carry it the line integral of f is given by over c path f of x y z ds because it is space we take in ds integration a to b because of value of t is from to a to b f of x of t y of t z of t into mod of r bar dash t dt okay what is r bar dash t in the modulus under root dx by dt whole square plus dy by dt whole square plus dz by dt whole square and what is our ds ds is dx by dt whole square dy by dt whole square dz by dt whole square dt okay now one example see evaluate over integration x y z ds where c is a helix given by the r bar t cos t sin t 3t so it is a three dimension x y and z and what is the value of t t is 0 to 4 of 4 pi now x equal to cos t y equal to sin t and z equal to 3 what we do dx by dt minus sin t dy by dt cos t dz by dt 3 r bar dash t in modulus it, uh, equal to under root dx by dt whole square plus dy by dt whole square plus dz by dt whole square we are putting minus sin t whole square cos t whole square and 3 square so it is 1 plus 9 under root 10. We get the value of the modulus of r bar dash t. Now, integration of that means find the area of or find the line integral of x, y, z, t, s, a to b. What is this? This is a 3t. Why 3t? Value of x, y and z. What is z? z is 3t. y is sin t. x is cos t. So, it is x, y, z, x and y under root 10t. Okay, now we are integrate this. We get minus 3 under root 10 pi. Putting the value of a to b upper limit. What is a to b? b a is a 0 and b is a 4 pi. Okay, so we getting this equation. This is the answer of the line integral. Line integral with respect to x and y for two dimension curve. Consider two dimension curve with parameterization x, x equal to x of t, y equal to y of t, where value of t is a to b. So, what is our p of x y and q of x y? We are individually given an integral a to b, a to b for the p of x y and q of x y, which is noted as p of x of t, y of t, x dash t dt. Similarly for 3 dimension x equal to x of t y of y equal to y of t z equal to z of t and t value is a to b. So integration of p of x y z dz, dx q of x y z, uh, z dy r of x y z dz. Integration a to b p x of t y of t z of t that time we have taken derivative x dash t Similarly, for the second term, we are taking derivative y dash t and in the third term, we are taking z dash t. One example, evaluate integration over c sin pi y plus y square x dx where c is a line segment from the 0 to 2 and 1 to 4. Okay, so we are find the value of x and y as a line segment 0 to 2 and 1 to 4. What is our x here? x is 1 minus t x0 plus t x1. So we get it is 
t because x0 and x1 is 1. So, and it is 0 and we get the answer is t. For the y equal to equation 1 minus t y0 plus t y1, this is the equation of the line segment. Putting the value of the initial value and that means y1 and y0, we get 2 plus 2t, where value of t is 0 to 1. Now, integration over c sin pi y plus y square x dx. So, we are uh, different, we are individual taking integration over c sin pi y dy over c integration y square x dx. Now, sin pi y dy, what is the value of y? y is 2 plus 2t. Put the value of 2 plus 2t and what is the dy? From this equation, we get dy equal to 2t, 2dt. So, it is 2dt. Integration 0 to 1, 2 plus 2t, it is y square, so here y, and what is x? x is t and 1. Integrate this and put the value of upper limit minus lower limit, we get the answer as 7 by 6. In general, reverse limit of the integral will change the value of integral. If we are taking a reverse limit, then there is value of the integral is changed. That means integration minus c f of x y ds equal to minus integration of over c path f of x y ds. If we have changed the limit, reverse limit, then value of the limit integral is changed. But if we integrate with respect to arc length, the value of line integral does not change. See, this is a note, an important note. If we are working with the arc length and the value of the line integral, if we are taking a reverse limit, then that is not the change when we reverse orientation of the curve. Okay, the value is same for the arc length with respect to arc length integration. Okay. Now, line integral of the vector field. Let P of R bar be a point on curve C is 3 dimension. Let F be the unit tangent vector at P is a sense of the increasing arc length S. Clear? P of bar be a point on curve C. Okay, this is a, it is any curve of the C and P of bar is a point. They, this is a 3 dimension curve. F is a unit tangent and vector at P. So, it is a unit tangent vector at P. Increasing length of the S, arc length of the S. Consider vector field F bar X, Y, Z. It is P of X, Y, Z, Q of X, Y, Z, R of X, Y, Z, I caret, J caret and K caret are three dimensional smooth curve. So, integration of F bar dr is Integration A to B, F bar R bar T, R dash T, DT, where F bar R of T is equal to X T, Y T and Z T. So, we can also write this line integral in the vector field with respect to arc length, F of F bar into DR. What is F bar into DR? We are taking in the, with respect to arc length, this is T, gem DS, T, direction of T. Tk caret, t caret is mentioned above the unit tangent at the p. What is the value of t caret? t caret value of r dash t upon equal to modulus of r dash t. Put this value in the this term. So, we get r dash t dt. So, this is the, our equation of the line integral in the vector field. Now evaluate line integral integration C F bar D R when F bar R minus Y I caret plus X Y J caret or minus Y X Y and C is the circular arc shown figure into A to B. Now what is our X of T? X of T is cos T because of the circular figure or Y of T is a sin T and T value is 0 to pi by 2. It is 0 to pi by 2. Now, f, f of f bar r of t is minus sin t plus cos t into sin t by because value of y is we have sin t x and y x is cos 
by sin t. So this is our equation of the f bar r bar t. R dash t. R dash t is minus sin t and cos t. R dash t that means r, r bar t is xi caret plus yj caret. So it is minus sin t plus cos t. Now what line integral? f bar dr integration 0 to pi by 2. What is this? This is a f bar r bar t. And this is a r dash t dt. Okay. Taking this minus sin t i caret cos t into sin t j caret into minus sin t i caret plus cos t j caret. Now multiply uh, both, both uh, multiply both these sin square t, sin t into sin t sin square t, cos t into cos, cos square t into sin t dt. Now taking integration individually, sin square t it is 1 minus cos 2t by 2, cos square t into sin t if we are Multiplying with the minus, with the minus sign and minus. So, we get the integration form as integration of f of f dash x. If f dash x, we say that it is f of n plus 1 upon n plus 1. So, it is cos square t and into this is a differentiation of this function so we get is cos cube by cos cube t by 3 put the value of the uh, limit 0 to pi by 2 upper limit minus lower limit we get pi by 4 plus 1 by 3 is the answer of this line integral second example find the value over integration f bar dr along two different paths having the same initial points 0, 0, 0 and this terminate the 1, 1, 1. What is our vector field? Vector field is y z i caret, x y j caret, z x square z k caret and c is a given as a follow. We have two paths. One is c1, there is a straight line segment where r1 t is t i, t j and t k. Value of t is 0 to 1. Similarly for the c2 curve, it is parabolic curve. It is t i caret, t j caret and t square caret and the value of t is from the between 0 to 1. See, one is this phase and second one is the parabolic phase. Okay. Now, for the first, we take r1 dash t. What is r1 dash t? This is a, uh, we are differentiate r, r1 with respect to t that we get i caret, j caret and k caret f bar r1 bar t that is 5t we are taking x equal to t y equal to t and z equal to t if we are putting this in f bar so it is 5t t square and t cube 5t t square and t cube now we are multiplying this f bar r1 t and r1 dash t we get 5t plus t square plus t cube because 5t in t i it is 5t t square and t cube. We are removing caret. Integration f bar into dr bar. What is the initial point? 0 and last point is 1. As per the formula f bar r1 of t r1 dash of t. What is this? 5t plus t square plus t cube. And R1T is IJ caret, so it is only DT. Integrate this with respect to T, we get 5T plus T cube by 3 plus T raised to 4 by 4. Put the value of upper limit 1 minus 0, we get answer as line integral is 37 by 12 for the straight line segment. Now, we are taking second part as a parabolic arc r2 dash t i plus j plus 2 t k caret f of r2 t we are putting x equal to t y equal to t and z equal to t square if we are putting z equal to t square in last term we getting t raised to 4 multiplying with the r2 dash t we get 60 square 2 t raised to 
5. Put this value in integration. 60 square plus 2t5, 2t raised to 5 dt. Integrate this with respect to t. We get 6 by 3 plus 2 by 6 after the putting the uh, upper limit minus lower limit. So last answer is 7 by 3 is a of the parabolic curve. Okay. Now example 3. If f bar equal to 3xy i caret minus y square j caret. Evaluate integration f bar dr where c is the arc of the parabola y equal to 2x square. And the limit is 0, 0 to 1 to 2. Now here is, we have the equation of the parabola. So we take y equal to 2x square. So dy is 4x dx. And what is our r, r bar? r bar is xi caret plus yj caret. Now integration f into dr 0 to y. What is this? This is a 3xy j caret. This is our f bar vector field into dx by dx i caret dy j caret dr dr if we are multiplying with this and put the value y equal to 2x square here we get 3x 2x square dx minus 4x cube into 4x dx this equation is converted into x formation integrate this with respect to x Put the value of upper limit 1 and lower limit 0, we get answer as minus 7 by 6 of this line integral. Now example number 4. See. Over integration C path F into dr, where F is y i caret minus x j caret x square plus y square and C is a circle of x square y square equal to 1. This is a traverse at the counterclockwise. Counterclockwise that means you get clockwise formation. Path is closed because of it is a counterclockwise and it is a circle x square plus y square equal to 1, a unit circle. The polar form is given by x equal to r cos theta, y equal to r sin theta, and r square equal to x square plus y square equal to 1. So we say, take dr equal to dx i caret dy j caret. What is x? x is sin r cos theta. So we get it is minus sin theta cos theta d theta. Okay. Now this equation is actually in polar form. So we are put the value as a polar formation f bar. What is f bar? f bar is y i caret. What is y? y is sin theta j caret. Sorry it is i caret. Minus x is cos theta j caret. And x square plus y square is 1. So we have f is this. And into minus sin theta. This is a dr bar. Minus sin theta cos theta j theta d theta. Multiplying this we get sin theta into minus sin theta. Sin square theta plus cos square theta. That is minus 1. Minus 1 d theta. So answer is minus 2 pi. Thank you. In this session, we are discussed about the line integral in this space. We are taking a different different type of the curve and put the value in the curve in the parabolic formation straight line segment and also we are taking the arc length, uh, we, we are integrate this uh, line integral with respect to arc length to reverse conditions.